guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I'll be reacting green to episode 7 of Isekai Quartet, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, finally, we get to see them at home, because every single time we see them, they're at school! Oh. <laughs> I'm glad she likes school. I kind of like school. <laughs> I think no, my my second year of high school, I hated school. That was the only time I really hated school. Other than that, I always liked school. My second year of fucking high school was hell. And if I ever had to do it over again, I probably would, but I changed some things. I wouldn't punch anyone. I'll tell you that. There was one person who I really wanted to punch in high school. Um, cause she really got on my nerves a lot. It would have been the best day ever, but then I would have gotten really in trouble, but then I wouldn't have cared. Cause sometimes I want to do that to some people, not everyone, but people who got on my nerves. your high school first school career? <laughs> I mean, we all have that one person. You're just like, oh my god, please shut the hell up. Like, no, there was one in high school, and then there was one in middle school, but me and her ended up being really good friends in middle school after I did something. <laughs> and no, I didn't punch her. I, I literally just, like, grabbed her arm because she was trying to touch me, and I'm like, mm, no. Oh my god. Uh, you can't defeat <laughs> him. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the best thing. Reading books is good as fuck. Yeah, there's gotta be somebody else. Well, the thing is, that's a boy. 
I still get confused, even till today. I kind of wonder if she's going to be in the next episode of Overlord that I'll be watching today. Did I just say she? I meant he. Damn it. See, I even do it too. Oh, let me on. <laughs> awesome. I know, why don't y'all just stay here? Even though y'all got season two coming up. And it's not going to be canon to this, because y'all not going to remember shit. Well, I mean, they can't go anywhere else, so they have to stay here, so. We could just cancel season two. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, why is Mega me? <laughs> oh, me, Mega me. Okay. Like. Of course, because you are so in love with her. When you had a room right there beside you. Also, Daddy Rose. <laughs> What if it's like a field trip to the beach or something? How are you going to do it? No, they could do a beach man service episode in the series. Yeah. I just need to know, is Overlord going to get a season four? I mean, I'm, I'm not even done with season one yet. I might be done by Thursday. I just want to know. But I don't think anyone's going to give me that answer. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh! <laughs> They're going in the fire. <laughs> It could be a beach fan service next week. 
Because we ain't going to get it in like two minutes. <laughs> Yeah. Like Mega Sandcastle, Beach Volleyball, um, Swimming Contest, uh, Collecting Seashells, Cooking Up Food, like crabs and other barbecues and shit like that. To the day, I really just <laughs> dislike the fight. This episode is every show, every episode is so dang short. I'm like, when I'm ready to see something else, you hear the music in the background. I'm like, oh, we're at the end, damn it, already. But it went by surprisingly, really quickly. And it's funny with the fact is how I said, hmm, yeah, maybe they could go to the beach. And he come in, we're going to the beach. I ain't gonna say, like, did you read my mind or some ish, but <laughs> I mean, it was just so lucky, guys. I'm thinking, like, yeah, you can go to the beach, you can go to the museum. Like, cause the biggest thing is, like, when you have this big group of people all together, of course, they're gonna have to go on a field trip somewhere. So, whether it was the beach, the movies, which it would be really weird to see, like, Ains and his group at the movies. <laughs> Or even like an anime convention because honestly, look at their group. They look like they're a cosplayer. <laughs> it just remind me of Miss Kobayashi like way too much if they went there. Um, they could have went to a museum. I don't know where else could you go. I mean, one of my filters was we went to a big ass library and I was like in love because I was like, oh my god, it's so many anime books. Um. I don't think they want to go to the zoo. I think the zoo would be like, if, mm, no, well, we have kind of little kids in our group, but they're not little, little kids. <laughs> um, so, no, I don't think the zoo, uh, the aquarium could be nice. Maybe, oh, an amusement park. There we go. I mean, but it would have been like, so they could have had so many ideas, but you know, technically, possibly it was something that Emilio was thinking of. And so, hey, yeah. But, uh, I was not really expecting. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm fucking answer to be in this episode, let alone this show. I was like, yeah. I think, like, by the time when I finally got to see him in Overlord, I, I just, I couldn't stop laughing. I'm sorry. I was like, I'm supposed to take this seriously? I don't think I can. Um... And I, I kept thinking, I was like, do I think he's going to be an isekai? I was like, no. Mm -mm. I was like, when he pressed the button, it was literally everyone in the room who got taken <laughs> and such. So I was like, no, I don't think he's going to be in here. And then they were like, no, there he is. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know what else to say about it. So now I'm like, okay, can I see, like, my other best girl fucking, um, I think it's uh, Nave from Overlord? Bitch who played the damn, like, maid and annoying maid like her and fucking, uh, what's her face at Idol Master also with freaking Albedo? Like, <laughs> Because who 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 knows who else is in this damn you say like school world with them? I mean, come on, like I wouldn't be shocked if um I don't remember most of the characters' names in like Tanya's show. Uh, the guy who she was with before when she was testing the stuff out, the the um the scientist, and then the kid who kind of looked like freaking Aaron from Attack on Titan, but I don't think he could be. <laughs> or the guy, no, but he's dead. The guy that she killed. I would like to have seen him maybe a little bit. Because then, you know, maybe she could have got triggered. for like, wait, I thought I killed you. They're like, no, he never dies. Or at least his daughter. Because we don't know anything about her. His daughter. And I think the movie is supposed to go more in depth of the um of her possibly maybe getting revenge on Tanya. I'm not 100% sure. Because it just, I think it came out for us last week, and I think it's only here for a week, and I really don't have the time to go see it, even if it is still in theaters, even though I really want to, like, see it really, really bad, but I might have to wait until it comes out online. I don't really know. 
We'll see. I mean, <laughs> this, this episode, which is weird, and it's nuts on the fuck we had the hamster. The fucking hamster. <laughs> Other than that, guys, that is our reaction to Truth episode 7 of Isekai Quinta. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Metro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Tuesday for episode 8. Bye, guys.